And thus I make my glorious return. Ah, oh, this map is so huge and laggy. I forgot how much fun it is. So I do still have way, way plenty of excess labor. And I was worried about my food count. I'm wondering if my log count's gonna start doing better or not. Considering I cleared out that area a little bit, it might drop down again a little bit. I think it's about time though that I get further along in this development. Because I seriously left a lot of this shit just to just to go. Even way late into development, I'm still doing things like throwing down little gathering huts on the periphery. Thunk that I would have had stuff like this all established at this point, but nope. Ah, oh, I feel so much more energetic. Last time I played this, it was just like, uh, it's dragging on, 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 and on. I'm sure the lag will get me down again, but for the moment, I'm good. So, I do have around my 600k food, and it's still going up and down, up and down, all that. Which is fine, I can handle that for right now. I'm thinking I want to expand another housing area over here, as well as some more firewood cutters, some more stockpiles, all that good stuff. Uh, these storage bins are kind of poorly placed, but I guess they'll do. And these guys aren't producing very well. I imagine it's because I did not throw a storage barn anywhere near them. They could use a few. There we go. Now I can only fit one. Well, fuck. Sucks! I guess I could throw down another forester lodge, but I need to be careful not to overlap too hard. And it looks like some nomads have arrived. I'm not sure I want to accept them though. And you have, oh, holy shit, that's a lot of them. Holy shit, that's a lot of them. How many? 249. Yeah. See, I don't have a problem with disease hitting up now and again. But, first off, that's going to be a whole bunch of homeless people. Second off, that's going to be a whole bunch more mouths to feed. And the real hit is that I'm already at like a 75% education rate, so at this point I think I'm going to be rejecting romad nomads for a little while. Although I reject them when I can just let them sit there. <laughs> I'm such a dick. I know that it isn't probably all that effective to have that there, but eh. I've got a whole bunch of excess labor and a whole bunch of excess pretty much everything. So, having a little bit of an efficiency here and there is just the cost of trying to maximize this map, in my honest opinion. Ah, can't make two by one to stockpiles. Broken. Broken. Please fix. Somebody died? Disease? Or, yeah, disease, scarlet fever. Seems like that's almost gone, though. I really want to get this area established, though. This is... This is my big... Oh, wow. I'm down to, like, 580k food. That's... I think that's saying something. That might be a message, just, just maybe. I am pretty much maxed out on trade. I guess I could try to make sure everything is stocking some ale through here. Although maybe I should be stocking it more towards here. So this place has a lot of ale production. Like I said, I'm gonna start inventorying a bunch of ale into these trading posts. It's so weird that it's 17% full with 2,500 firewood. That's very specific. I guess I still don't quite know how the storage and trading posts works. Unfortunately, food merchants do not accept 
ale. Or do they? Maybe they do. If they do, that'd make my job a lot easier. I mean, I think I have enough people running by bringing in food that just trying to jump around and say, oh hey, special order food, special order food, special order food, probably won't do me any good. Oh, it looks like my religious community needs satisfaction. Out of there. Should try to keep that pinned for the moment. Maybe finish my development of this area. Hmm. Not sure which direction I should have that face. Let's try to. Get a few more houses, just not not for actual population purposes, but really just for placement purposes. So I know how much space I have and what I can expect. Should I? Uh, I think it actually makes sense to place it like this, right up there, as close as I can get it. Forester node, herbalist, 10 by 5. And then I might build a market somewhere around here. I know that seems a little bit inefficient, but I think it would work out kind of well. So I do have a declining food amount. I'm not too worried about too uh, many of my other things. I think the log count's just going down because I've ordered a bunch of construction. Iron tools, all that stuff seems decently set up, so not too worried. But food, food is always a prime concern. Early autumn, so I should start getting a little bit of harvest. Yeah, I should probably get some housing through here so that I can maybe do some farming as well. Although, I know that I probably have a lot of... Oh wow. No, I don't have a lot of laborers. At least, not in this area. I was expecting to be popping through house by house and see some laborers, but apparently not. Some builders around. So, I unassign people, that works. But no, most of these people have some job or another. Well, I do hope I can start seriously getting some food income back. Of course, this is also by year by year, so one bad harvest or one bad trading year can make it look like there's a difference when there's really not. It's just the fact that the game is dragging kind of slowly that makes me feel like there's some sort of issue. So maybe food merchants buy ale now. I thought food merchants uh, rejected ale. Hmm. Maybe an ale-based economy is the way to go these days. There's, there's damn kids these days and they're, they're ale. Yeah, even in autumn, with my harvest season full swing, I'm not even getting back up to... I'm barely going to hit 570k food. So yeah, my, my population is right on that cusp where it's starting to consume more than it's producing, I think is what that means. But like I said, I can't, I can't fight that through simple trading anymore. I guess it's the larger issue at stake. I can't just say, oh, I'll trade more firewood, or oh, I'll build more docks. That is no longer an option. I'm pretty sure most of my places are moving 
the max stack that they can of firewood every every time it's possible. Looks like my tool count is still going down. So I know how to trade. I'm not so sure though that I know how to farm. I mean the basics of course are easy just as they are for everything. Storage close by, living quarters close by, and usually you'll get everything that you can get out of it. Maybe it's time to start some small like farming communities type of thing going on, you know? Instead of trying to build these massive centralized areas, try to create a sort of spread out area where I just grow a whole bunch of food. I did actually get almost up to 590k. So I guess I'm kind of close. I mean, it's not as horrible as I thought it was. What is horrible is how long it's taken my builders to do shit. I keep forgetting with how slow this game is right now that any change I make is going to take quite a while to kick in. Well, if that's the case, one change I really need to make is increasing the amount of stored tools I have. And that means more blacksmiths, I imagine. I imagine there's some variation here and there, because people take some gap years and things. 80... Wow. This guy produced 80 last year, and 40 this year. And that's kind of same as this guy. He was only at 50 and was at 80 last year. So does that mean my tool production went way down? Hmm. It's not that I necessarily need to enhance my productive capacity, but it's rather that my production fell. If I could check around and find more blacksmiths. Oh, uh, that one actually had a small increase. Well, that does mean that I've had a few more producing to no real avail. Yeah, it seems like most of them had a drop in production. What the hell? What kind of equilibrium am I running here? I didn't even realize it, but I'm back over 600k food. Like, I was getting worried because I dropped all the way to 560, but now I'm almost up to 610. This is fucking confusing. And I dropped my firewood reserves by about 10k. That's not something I like seeing, but... <sighs> my tools are up above 10, 2000, but... They feel kind of unstable. So I think... I think I'm going to try to establish another blacksmith somewhere around here. That's a perfect fit. Actually, building housing over here, I'm going to require a market first for that. So I might want to lay off on that for a little bit. But I do want to make sure that I've got as many gatherers and woodcutters and or not woodcutters, uh, I guess woodcutters, yes, but forest is what I meant to say. Hunters. Because with my excess labor numbers, there's really no reason not to cap those guys out. If it means, even if it means they just deliver the food faster. And fuck yes, I want my food faster. It's like fucking ask you, you want your pizza there 30 minutes or less? Yeah, make that or less, motherfucker. Thank you. <sighs> Use some fucking pizza now. Holy shit. Firewood is dropping really far. I mean, the only real solution to my firewood dropping like that is more woodcutters. But a lot of these woodcutters are producing under capacity as it begins with, so... I actually don't know quite what the general level of production for a woodcutter should be. 
I swear I've seen it go up to a thousand before. Ugh. This area has got to be kind of inefficient. I mean, I would hope that these houses are trying to take care of this middle section here. But I doubt this whole area can be staffed from these houses. Well, this area can rely on these ones. Let's say maybe out to about here. So let's see how far these people are going. Decent enough, decent enough. Yeah, those are fine. Those are getting a little bit... Yeah, those are getting pretty ridiculous, though. I guess I could... I don't know why I haven't yet, actually. I can make a road right along here. 